In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick way that I like to change object color or the colors of items in photos here in Photoshop. Now to do this, I need to create a quick selection around the object I want to change the color of. I think it's pretty obvious we're going to change the color of the balloon in this photo. So I'm going to zoom in, Commander Control Plus, and kind of get this balloon here. I'm going to select my lasso tool, and I'm going to create a quick selection that covers the entirety of the balloon. So I've got a little buffer area around the edge of the balloon. I'm going to go around this little part here. And I don't mind that this is outside the balloon because we're basically going to say everything within the selection, we're going to affect the colors of, which the background doesn't have color in this case. Now you might want to make a more detailed selection of the object if you're trying to change something specific that has colors similar to it next to it. But I'll show you what we're about to do. So we've got this background layer down here. What we want to do is add a hue and saturation layer now that we have this selection. So we're going to go to adjustments and then go to the hue and saturation icon or this bar right here. I think usually it looks like, well, they've changed this. So I see it right here. I'm going to click on this. It's an adjustment layer. Now because we had that selection, it automatically added the layer mask for us. So this hue and saturation will not affect anything outside of that layer mask. Now if we were to just start tweaking with the settings here, you can see that the layer mask messes up our selection. So we can't just adjust the balloon color without also adjusting the background color unless we made a very perfect detailed selection. But we actually can because the hue and saturation adjustment layer allows us to affect the different uh, color paths here inside of the what it sees basically so we could say apply these settings only to the reds in in the selection or in the masked out area or apply them only to the magentas now if you're not sure which one to click on I like to click this little hand icon and then come over here into the colored portion of whatever it is you're trying to change and if you click and drag left and right it actually changes the saturation of whatever it sees there so in this case, you can see, we can bring the saturation all the way down. And if we come back over here to our hue and saturation adjustment layer, it actually told us that that's the reds. So you, we're affecting the reds right now. So we could bring that saturation back up to zero and then we could adjust the hue. So if we wanted to change this balloon to, let's say a greenish color, we could bring the hue over into the greens. And we can make some adjustments to the saturation level of this as well including the lightness and darkness level, because sometimes you'll get, let's see if we can drag this into a good spot. Okay, you'll see how this gets pretty muddied out here, and that will just take some extra tweaking to get it smoothed out. But we do see some of that in the green as well, and we can make this a little bit better if it automatically selected the reds. It's more than likely there's a little bit of magenta in there too. Same thing with if it selected the greens, there might be some cyans or some yellows, if it selected the blues, there's probably some cyan, you know, some, some fringe colors here. And you can actually see that a little bit along the outside of the balloon. So if we go to our magentas and start to mess with this, let's bring the saturation up and down. We can actually see that there's some changes happening in the balloon. So magentas is another section here that I need to make adjustments to. And now you can really see how this balloon is smoothing out its color and is becoming a lot better green. So by tweaking the magentas and the reds, we're able to make those adjustments to the balloon color as a whole. Same thing if it was a blue color, like I said, you might just be doing like blues and cyans or greens and yellows, greens and cyans. It just depends on what it selects first and then maybe try uh, to mess with the paths or I keep calling it a path. It's more like a, a color channel. Um, that's what it is. It's a channel, not a path. So keep messing with the different channels to try to get it smoothed out a little bit. That's how you can kind of really smooth out the color. But now we have a green balloon and this is a non-destructive method. So down here in our layers panel, we could actually hide this hue and saturation layer to see the pink balloon we had before that we've now made a green balloon. And that's how you can quickly and easily change color here in Adobe Photoshop.